we hail thee, Savior and Lord, thy cross ever be adored. We hail thee, Savior and Lord, thy Son, 
should undergo the cross to save the human race. Grant, we pray, that we who know his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. On the way through the wilderness, the people lost patience. They spoke against God and against Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in this wilderness? For there is neither bread nor water here. We are sick of this unsatisfying food. At this, God sent fiery serpents among the people. Their bite brought death to many in Israel. The people came and said to Moses, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Intercede for us with the Lord to save us from these serpents. Moses interceded for the people. And the Lord answered him, Make a fiery serpent and put it on a standard. If anyone is beaten and looks at it, he shall live. So Moses fashioned a bronze serpent, which he put on a standard. And if anyone was beaten by a serpent, he looked at the bronze serpent and lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. The response to the psalm. Our response to the psalm is Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Altogether. Never, never forget, forget the, the deeds, deeds of, of the Lord. Lord. Give heed, my people, to my teaching. Turn your ear to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable and revealed, revealed hidden lessons of the past. A response, Never, Never forget, forget the, the deeds, deeds of, of the Lord. Lord. When he slew <coughs> them, then they would seek him, return and seek him in earnest. They would remember that God was their rock, God the Most High, their Redeemer. A response, Never, Never forget, forget the, the deeds of, of the Lord. Lord. Gospel of Permission. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your According to John, glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man who is in heaven. And the Son of Man must be lifted up, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. Yes, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost but have eternal life. For God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world but so that through him the world might be saved.
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, the Feast of the Triumph of the Holy Cross is a feast that celebrates the definitive victory of Jesus through the instrument of the cross in saving mankind from sin and wrong and offering them salvation and redemption. Strangely, this feast has a mention through scripture in the Old and New Testament. For those of you who have gone to the Holy Land pilgrimage, in recent years, the service providers have been offering you a visit to Jordan, the border of Israel. And in Jordan, the main site they take you to see is Mount Nebo, the mountain where Moses climbed and from there he saw the promised land that he was not privileged to go to because of whatever reason. And that mountain in uh, Jordan is commemorating that event of Moses going up there. There is a church. Popes have visited that place and celebrated masses. One of the artifacts on that mountain, besides that church and the chapel, is the first reading standard on which Moses was told, make a standard and on that put a bronze serpent so that people who were bitten by the snakes and were dying during the time of the desert sojourn, they would look and be saved. It's a huge little thing and many people click pictures etc. It is also the symbol on, in medicine for healing. You see this on doctor's doors, on ambulance doors, on chemist doors, you know the standard with a serpent. Strange that we may have missed it. But the Catholicism, Old Testament reference becomes a medical reference for life and health and well-being. This in the New Testament becomes Jesus. The new standard on whom the new sacrificial lamb is nailed. And by that nailing and the blood and the words of compassion and forgiveness that came from the Savior, including his sign, waters of baptism and sacramental life, the world is now healed of sin, selfishness and of everything that is of Satan. Jesus triumphs, the triumph of the cross, the exaltation of the cross is the name of today's feast. Jesus triumphs majestically over sin, death, suffering and wrongdoing. How do we appropriate this to ourselves? By keeping in mind the symbol of the cross, the vertical dimension of our faith, our prayer life, our relationship to God, our moments of silence, our deep connection with the Father, Son and Spirit, and the vertical dimension, our connection with the world around us, family, friends, people, through acts of service, kindness, forgiveness, through acts of life-giving, uh, words, actions and deeds. This imitates in life what Jesus did. His relationship with the Father and his relationship with all of us. When this happens, then these famous words of scripture in John 3, 16 and 17, which is a summary of the whole scripture. Remember for today the verse, uh, John 3, 16, 17. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. And verse 17, John 3, 17, For God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world, but through him to save the world. The cross no longer is an instrument of shame and suffering. We sign ourselves. We wear crosses on our chains. We make crosses of embossment there, uh, engraving. Banner of Mary used to do it when he was small, no? And we grew up keeping that. Mummy never allowed us to do that. She said, Nai karasate. Asunde, galamani cross ghal, bentin ghal, te no ko karu. I don't know what is the reason. 
we wish in you that you must not sign yourself because in another scripture in the old testament it says you must not engrave and uh, defame your body today there are these parlors making this thing everywhere one is opposite st peter's church on hill road what to do the world seems to be triumphing no the cross triumphs and therefore we come to jesus with this dual purpose in our mind our relationship with jesus god father son and spirit the vertical dimension and the horizontal dimension our relationship with one another so that what jesus did to save us we continue his mission on earth amen Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Praise sisters and brothers that this our sacrifice may be an acceptable gift to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good all of his holy church. May this oblation, Lord, which on the altar of the cross cancel the offense of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you place the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross, so that where death arose, life might again spring forth. And the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be conquered through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the beloved seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we sing. Holy, holy. Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Life-giving bread, the saving cup. We thank you for counting as worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the religious, the clergy, and those who are consecrated. Remember all the intentions offered at this Eucharist. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, our patron saints, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The cross of Christ is a constant reminder that we are saved, that God has given us Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior, that we will be his ardent disciples. We pray, our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace be with you. Let so, God, who take Let away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to share the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Great love and friendship has no man than this, that he died for others, gave his life for all. No more are your servants, I have Oh. 
Feeling our lives with his gift. 